All right, so big day. I'm just waiting here to pick up my boat. It's a one at a time process. I'm next in line. They're pulling it out for me so I can hook it up. Very excited. I've been waiting a long time to pick this boat up. Just be nice to get it home, get everything put back in it and ready for the water. So let's get it. do a little video we're gonna unwrap this cover put the travel cover back on to get it back home you can travel with these it's not a big deal I like to put my travel cover on more peace in mind so I'm gonna go ahead unwrap this give you a sneak peek of what I work with here this is my boat oh I'm just so excited so excited yeah let's get to it carbon like Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, honestly, I didn't mean for it to fall out like that, but how easy was that? Okay, so with this wood, I'm gonna wanna take it apart. Hopefully you have a pickup truck. You can put all this in the back. You definitely have to undo it. Some screws, worst case you can hacksaw it apart. Also, make sure you leave the screws in the wood or take them out. Don't leave them in the parking lot here on your driveway. Make sure you have every screw accounted for. Milwaukee for the win. In you go. I apologize for the noise right beside the highway, bear with me. Voila. Make sure that safety chain is hooked on as well. The straps on the back of your boat, make sure they're in good condition and tight. That's one of the main components of keeping this thing on a trailer. Okay, so now in the boat, let's go ahead and check everything, make sure it looks good. Let's put the cover on. Looks like I'm totally ready and safe to get on home. Okay, so now we're getting ready to start the motor. We've got our garden hose, our ear muffs that go over top of the intake for the water. That way when we start the motor, we're instantly gonna see water come out and tell us that our water pump is working. Very, very important. Do not start your motor without water. You will harm the water pump. Two seat. So this is just a quick video of my happy day picking up my boat, bringing it home, starting to put it back together, get it running. All it really needs now is a deep clean. 
put some rods in the rod locker, and that's it. When I get to the lake, I put my trolling motor on. It has a quick disconnect. Obviously, I throw on my GPS, fish finders, stuff like that. The reason I went with a smaller boat, uh, it's my first boat. I didn't know how much I'd really use it, how big into the sport I'd really get. Turns out I love it. I uh, wish I just spent all the money off the hop and bought something big, but I'm very grateful for this boat. It's what I could afford at the time, and this boat's really done me well in the past five years. So this is the sixth season. We're really gonna hit the water hard, make some great videos. That's it for me now. You see my tinkering with the boat, starting to get it ready. I'll roll some clips from last season to show you what it looks like out on the water. I do love this little boat. It's seen a lot of waves and it's seen a lot of fish. Very excited to get back out there. So hopefully you enjoy the rest of the clips from this video and we'll see you in the next one.